welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play adventure and another video in my epic world. Today we're going to be doing something a little fun. It is fun for me at least. And, uh, oh, it's nighttime. Let's get to bed and it's raining outside. Ooh, boo hoo. I don't like that. Let's go to sleep. Okay, so uh, if you are not aware of what this is, this is my epic world. And the last time I recorded on here was two years ago. That's right. Uh, I haven't been back for two years. I was going to start another series on this, on this map. And I didn't. I started other series for no apparent reason, really. Um, maybe because of new versions or whatever the case may have been. But I haven't been back to this, quite honestly, oh, look at that glitch, <laughs> to this really amazing map that I started off uh, when I first started playing Minecraft. So we made a bunch of different games, a bunch of mini games, and a bunch of uh, different construction projects, some really cool houses, and then this is our main house right here. See, this, this is the garden room, and this is the stuff room, because this is where we hold all of our stuff. And uh, this is the kitchen, and it's got a lot of ovens and some really unique things here, like like this red, uh, I think it's an Insanium oven? I know it's not an Insanium oven, it's a Supremium oven. Uh, if you can't tell this version of minecraft is modded and it's modded to the point where uh i have this really cool amazing armor on you see it and it allows me i think this, does this one allow me to fly? oh no i need the chest piece to allow me to fly but i'm not wearing it right now because i, I want to be a little bit of me uh as opposed to, to the super modded me and you guys did make some suggestions two years ago as to what to name our parrot but i can't remember what it is oh we forgot to we forgot to feed gertrude Let's go feed Gertrude. Here you go, Gertrude. Num num nums. Good morning. We also forgot. We also forgot a really important thing. We got to go run through the hallway and through the kitchen, onto the furniture, out the door, and into our hall of gratitude. That's right. We have a hall of gratitude. Here it is right here. And we have Reuben. Hey, Reuben. How you doing? But I need a name tag to name Reuben. Uh, it's been years. Uh, let's grab. What did, what did the... I'll, I'll grab a carrot. Okay, it's supposed to give me a carrot, but it, it just shot something out at me. All right, Ruben, where'd you go? Where'd you go, homie? There you are. There you go, Ruben. Good morning. And uh, yeah, so what our Hall of Gratitude is, is a bunch of names of all the people that we like to thank from previous videos. And we have a whole lot. And the last name we added to our list here uh, was Lub Cubs two years ago. That's insane. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was such a sad day. The, the day I added that name. And if you guys know, then you know. But that's unfortunate. Okay, anyway. So we, we added we added some names from uh, previous shows and stuff that we did. And then this is for, for uh, Love Cubs. In the next video from this one, if you guys comment something nice in the comment section below, um, I will add your name to the uh, to the Hall of Gratitude. Uh, we always add somebody's name, usually one, two, three, or even four names, because I can fit four names on a sign, uh, to the Hall of Gratitude. No, I usually only do two, don't I? So it's usually two names, the Hall of Gratitude. The only rule I have to have your name in the Hall of Gratitude is that you don't specifically ask to be in the Hall of Gratitude. Just say something nice, and I'll usually put your name in the Hall of Gratitude. Anyway, so back to the matter at hand. Let's go downstairs into our basement. This is where our, our, our indoor pool is. And down here, we have our storage facility. And a while back, we did a video on how to build this farm here. This is an Inferium farm and other items as well. But it's mostly Inferium that's growing here. We need to expand this a little bit. It's really kind of uh, only half the room, and I want to take it take over the entire room. We go downstairs here. This is our little farm here. And I started chiseling this out underneath here because I wanted to transfer... Uh, all the materials from all of this to our uh, to our storage system upstairs. I'm going to show you that in a second as well. So right here we got we have Inferium growing. See, it grows and it pops and it goes through this channel here. This is the old school way of doing things before we had our transfer system, which we have now. Uh, and this is how we made this stuff. There's a video I did a while back on how to build this entire room using this mod. Um, including uh, some of this other stuff here, which is storage chests, which are these right here, uh, the storage uh, shelves or whatever they're, they're, they're called. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, so, so if you right-click in here, we have 18,700 Inferium Essences, and they're being stored in this oak drawer here, but I want it upstairs in my storage unit. I don't want it down here. 
because uh, it's really not necessary to be down here. And we're going to go upstairs and go grab some materials from our storage system. And we're going to build ourselves a, a uh, transfer system to transfer all the materials from down there to up here. And we're going to put it inside of our ME system, which is housing all of our stuff. So you look here, it says the last time I modified this was two years ago. And we only have 1,425 total Inferium Essences in here because we used it all to make our armor. We had a lot more, but it takes quite a bit in order to make the armor. So yeah, so the stuff was not touched for a couple of years. So we need a few things out of here. We don't need any Inferium. We're gonna, that's what we're transferring. But we are going to grab a stack of this. Uh, these are cables. Uh, we do need an import. Uh, we need one of these. I just need one. I don't need the rest. And I need an export. Exporter. We need one of these. Oh, we only had one of those. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Um, let's grab ourselves. Oh, we're going to go get ourselves some tools. Advancement. Oh, because I haven't played on this computer yet. Uh, this is the first time I'm playing this on this machine. That's funny. Okay, let's go get ourselves some tools from our room. Got some tools, right? We got some stuff. We don't have tools. We have one importer. We have an exporter. We've got some cable. We do need a uh, pickaxe and an axe. And we can grab, uh, let's see, what, what do we have in here? Do we have anything in our chests or do we put everything in the ME system? Okay, we'll grab a regular pickaxe, a diamond pickaxe. And do we have a regular axe? I think I put everything in the ME system. Oh, no. Okay, we'll, we'll go gra grab something from there. It's not a big deal. That, that's really easy to find. Oh, yeah, I, we call this room the smell tree. Oh, my goodness, it's been so long. I can't believe I don't remember any of this stuff. Let's look up axe. Uh, we can just grab a regular iron axe. We don't need a diamond. Oh, we'll grab a diamond axe. We have got so many diamonds. It's ridiculous in this map. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close the doors. I love the double door close and open uh, function mod. So we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to kind of create ourselves a little bit of Oh, the sound effect is cool. We're going to create ourselves a little bit of a tunnel here. We already started, but I didn't finish, obviously. Uh, oh, that's not where we want to go. We're going to have to get some of this stone, too. Let's go grab some stone really quick because I have, I have a feeling I'm going to mess things up. And I don't want just to leave stone behind because that looks silly. So I think we got to go further down. Probably about, uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. At least six more blocks down so it can be hidden. We don't want it to be visible to the outside world. We're only, only going to see a small, small portion of it. And the rest of it is going to be hidden uh, to everybody else. So let's grab some stone. Okay, so we're not going this way. We're going to put that piece of stone there. We'll go right underground. I don't know if this is the right spot or not. We're going to start going the other direction too. We're going to start going from the top side. Oh, wrong way. So what we want to do is we want to go up here. And we're going to go from this and down. So you're going to only see a little small piece of pipe, right? So we're going to break this. We're going to break this. Oh, no. <laughs> That's too far. We'll put that back up. We'll put that one back up. We'll go back around. Oh, that was silly. Whoa, that was weird sound. It sounded like we were creaking. All right, so we're going to go this way. Yes. And I don't think that goes anywhere. Okay, good. So we'll go down this way. And I don't think, I think this is going to be low enough to where we're not going to be visible. Oh, oh, there's a thing there. So now we're going to go this way. Yeah, we're going to turn and we're going to go this direction. Okay, that sounds good. Now we're going to go down one block. Uh oh, this is the area where the, we're inside the cave now or inside the storage area now. We can just kind of do this. I know what this is because we built this out. This has trim on the other side. Okay, so I think I need to go inside here. We'll go around. We'll go all the way around. Uh, maybe we won't go all the way around. Maybe we'll go ahead and fall in this direction. Let's go look through the through this. Where are we at? Oh, I know where we are. Okay, cool. We're going to remove a couple of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm not sure where I put myself. Hmm. Did, I, did we go too high? I'm not certain. So we're coming from this way. Do we? Do, oh, we haven't made it low enough yet. I see. That's what we're doing. Okay. So we went too far this way. We can fill this in with cobble because it's just dead space. And we're going to put a block of this right there. And we're going to turn this way. Okay, that's good. S something like that. <laughs> something like that. Okay. All right, cool. So what we're going to do here now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw some of this material up here. We're not going to use that until we start burying things. We're going to grab our exporter and our importer and our cable. And I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to dig one more. Down. So I want to pull from all three of these, but I think for right now, we're just going to pull from this guy. I don't think I can export from this. Should we try? I don't think I can export from this. Can I? No, I can only pick that up. Yeah, we can't export from that. We can only pull from this if we're looking at this specifically. So we have to pull from this guy or or 
we put three, uh, what do you call it, down? Uh, oh, I don't know if that'll work. We could put three of these guys down, all dumping into one more of these chests and pull directly from that chest. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to put three hoppers down. Let's go grab three hoppers. We're making it more complicated than it needs to be. I think it'll work. Oh, we should go run and go to sleep too because the mobs here are, whoa, the lag. <laughs> the mobs here are not fun. Uh, we have some excess mobs in this in this mod pack and that, that I designed and it's got some really, really nasty mobs. So let's go to sleep. We don't want to blow up all of our all of our progress. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go grab. We're gonna grab three. Is it raining outside or is it just the waterfall? It's just the waterfall. Okay, so we're gonna grab hoppers. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna grab uh, oak. No, you know we might have a storage drawer downstairs. We might have a storage drawer downstairs. Let's let's see if we can find one, and we'll just utilize one from our examples that we did for our 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 tutorial video. I think we can do that. Let's see. Oh, I don't think it's going to work that way. Oh, no. So what's in here? Okay, this is all stuff from the tutorial video. Hmm. It won't work that way. Dang it. Oh, I'm hot. I'm heating up. I think I need something to drink. <laughs> oh, oh, bugger. Okay, let's try it. Let's try this way. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and grab just a block of wood. We're going to put a block of wood there. We're going to put one hopper there. One hopper there and one hopper there. So they're all going to be pulling materials, right? So then we're going to remove this block here. We're going to grab an importer and we're going to put it there, right? And then we're going to add all this this cable. We're going to kind of work backwards and go the direction we came. Oops. That's the only problem with the cable is it breaks because it's glass. Oh, shoot. Which way are we going? Oh, we're going this way. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's a maximum distance this can go. I really hope there isn't because we'll be kind of stuck here. Okay. Can I get out of here? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. We go there. And then this is going to be pointing into this. We're going to shift and click into there. And we're going to check to see if this is increasing. It is not. Okay. So I don't think we can pull from the hoppers. That's unfortunate. I wonder if we can grab a barrel. We don't have any barrels. Do we have a crafting table here? Let's grab some of those. Let's do that. Let's see if a barrel works. Otherwise, we're just going to have to pull from the one, which is fine. Originally, I just wanted to pull the Inferium anyway, but I wouldn't mind pulling all of them. But I don't think it's going to pull all of them, is it? It's just pulling the bottom three. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not really doing this very, very smart, but we're going to try. And I think this won't break. Okay, good. Okay, so this is going into there. Okay, it's moving. It's moving. I think we're doing it. I think we're grabbing from all of these bottom three at least. There isn't much of that left. I don't think it's going to let anything through until those are full. I think it's draining everything. Oh, it is draining everything. Oh, no. Is it going to start pulling some of the stuff that's in these? No, I don't think that's possible. I think it, these only grab seeds. Let's see. Let's watch. Yeah, it just grabs the essences and seeds and stuff and throws it in there. Okay, so this is going as fast as it can. 10% drop chance is that. Okay, it's grabbing those. That's always going to be full because it's going to be the last one in line. And then these are going to get emptied. I think it's only going to empty these bottom ones, though. I don't think it's going to grab any of this stuff here. Unless we do an imp another import and export from those each directly. You know what I'm saying? So let's go upstairs. Let's go ahead and close this up. I'm going to leave this barrel open right here. Do we have lava? Oh, yeah, there's lava underneath this. I forgot. Uh, we're going to leave this. Maybe we'll put a step there so we can access it still. Let's go see if we're getting product in there. I think we are. Um, it doesn't look like we are. Is it getting stuck somewhere? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a problem. Okay, let's go see. Where, where, are we, where are we stuck? Where was it at? Where was the opening? Right here. It's increasing and decreasing, but where is it getting stuck at? Like, where is the product going? Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and remove some of this to see where we're stuck at. I guess we'll have to do a walking path right next to it to see where it's at. And that's fine. Why is there random blocks in there? Is there something on the other side of this? No. I think we need to get some torches. Is there another room on the other side of this? Oh, there is. Shoot. Okay, I can, I can do that much. That's about it. Uh, there's another room there. I can't do that either. I can't do that one, though. Okay. okay. I don't know where this product is, where the chain is being broken. Everything is connected. It's all connected here. It's connected here. It's connected here. Oh, we're not even into Inferium yet. We're just doing Inferium seeds. I see. So let's go see if it's even growing. That number. Maybe I'm just a dope. Uh, does this make a block? It does. 
we can make a couple of these. It's dark down here. Okay, cool. So we have that stuff. Let's go see Inferium Seeds. Oh, oh, mobs. Uh, Inferium Seeds. Oh, that's growing. <laughs> I'm a total idiot. It hasn't even made it to the Inferium Essence yet. I spent all that time digging up a separate channel. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go put all this crap in there. Let's put that away, that away, that away. Let's get some tor torches. We don't have any torches? <laughs> Uh, we'll have to look through our inventory. Did I put everything in there? How do I not have torches? Uh, we have a single torch. We have coal. We have coal. We have sticks. We got sticks. Not very many sticks, but we have sticks. There we go. Now we got torches. Torches for days. I don't need 16. I don't even need 16 torches. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to go We're gonna go past the night really quick and then go back down there and put some torches up. Uh, we don't want mobs spawning in down there. Oh, I made the advancement of exporting. I didn't even notice it. Okay. Can I go, can I make this one, one less deep or one more shallow, less shallow? Feels less claustrophobic when I do that. I should have grabbed a shovel too. So now I think I can pull from every single one of these if I really wanted to. I'm going to leave this open back here. There's some iron there, but I don't care about the iron. Uh, we'll put a torch there. I mean, there's enough glowstone in here where I don't think it's going to be a problem, but you never know. All right, cool. So if we ever want to access that again, we just dig that up and it's fine. And now that number is growing. Oh no. Put my pick in there. Let's do a shovel. So this was our initial farm. Like I was, I think I was doing a tutorial on how, how to build a farm, a basic farm. And this was the initial one. And then this over here is the main farm. And over here, we're missing some stuff. Those are rail carts to take you down here. Look at the glitched out, the glitched out uh, fence posts are funny. So this takes you down to the bottom uh, to our mining shaft. You guys want to go to the mining shaft? We can go check out the mining shaft here. Let's grab a cart. Here we go. Whee! Oh, yeah, the, the rainbow glass going down. Oh, it's so creepy down here. Okay, so this is this is the mine. Whoa, where did that fall from? Oh, it's so creepy. Where did all this uh, gravel fall, fall from? That's weird. Yeah, this is our strip mine. We've gutted it to the point where it's not just a strip mine anymore. There's so many different aspects of it. And there's like five or six ways up, and I don't care to be here anymore. I'm going to go upstairs. Here we go. I love our rainbow glass. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're, we're back upstairs. I want to clean, like I said, I want to clean all this up, probably on another go or maybe off camera because that'll be really boring. Uh, but yeah, we made our our little thing here. I need a couple more pieces of, one more piece of stone, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what do we have here? We got a bunch of stuff. We can take some of the stuff upstairs. We'll take this upstairs. This is all the different material. Oh, this one's a, a melon farm. I was showing you guys how to build a melon farm. That's right. I'm just going to break all this real fast. It's kind of satisfying. Here we can do, we can just throw it, literally just throw it all in here, can't we? <laughs> It'll just take it all. There we go. I don't know what the purpose of this was. Ooh, nice amount of XP. Let's go throw this stuff upstairs really quick and we'll come right back. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed. I went and got some more materials and I did it the old fashioned way. I know I said a ton of iron <laughs> doing it this way. So I need to uh, set it up a different way, probably the same way we did this system over here where it's a bunch of extractors, but those are really more challenging to make than, an, than a, a, a hopper. <laughs> so hopper was easy. Uh, I just made a buttload of hoppers and uh, yeah, it was just, it was cheap because we have a ton of iron. I mean, like a ton of iron. So, I mean, look, we have iron essence uh, growing right here. So we've got unlimited iron for the most part. Yeah, that's it. This is going to be our inferior room from now on. Um, and we have other things growing here as well. Obviously, some uh, it looks like some blaze powder, uh, some diamonds and stuff like that. So we've got unlimited things. We've got diamond seeds, emeralds. Oh, there's a, a seed there. Uh, uh, yeah, we have wither essence. We have uh, blaze essence, iron essence, emerald essence. And I thought we had diamonds too, but I don't seem to see any. Those are emeralds over there. I think we got to make some di some iron seeds, it looks like. It looks like we probably have to make some iron seeds. So we'll go ahead and do that too at another time. For now, we uh, looks like we finished. And I think that's going to be it for today. Let's go ahead and go back upstairs. And we're going to close this door off. Check this out. Go in here. Oh, we flip this super secret switch because it's not, not, not exposed or anything. And there's a little sign that says hi right there. And the door is closed. So no one is the wiser except for you and me. And that's okay. Oh, we have hypothermia. Why do we have hypothermia? Isn't that from being cold? Are we cold? <laughs> Are we cold? That's weird. This one has flight on it. Let's see. No, we, we don't have flight yet. We're going to have to do that next on the next go. On the next go, we're going to have to get a... A flight. Uh, we can add the little tomes on there and make give us our, give ourselves some flight. 
uh, for, for whatever. But for now, I think we're just going to put our wings back on. Let's find a good spot right here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like if you liked and follow along for more of my epic world adventures. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of these. Uh, maybe Skippy will turn around and find us here and join us on this world. That might be really, really interesting. And uh, maybe he'll do it a little faster than he did on the last uh, on the last adventure that we did for the no crafting challenge. So, yeah, like I said before, if you guys enjoyed, please follow along. And uh, until the next one, see ya.